turn it off. I'm gonna turn my fan off. It's not that hot. Okay. <clears throat> so I decided to make another uh, folder, a smaller one, than the mass of what I did yesterday. Again, using my favorite medium as my Coca-Cola cardboard. Because it folded like that so nicely, I thought, well, I'm not going to change that. I'm just going to use it the way it folds. And so I covered it using the cloth. So I haven't painted this at all. I was going to mod podge in here, and then I realized, actually, no, I do need it to fold. So I added some fabric. And what I need uh, is a number of things to be stored. And you can see I stitched this on and glued it on. But I might have missed. I don't know how straight that is. This is going to go in. It's a little bit off. Oh well. <laughs> so this is all going to be folded in after. And I think that will bend just fine once that's done. So I need something to put in here too, because um, I did quite a few um, scrap pages, and when I was done those, I wound, in, wound up with very few uh, small pieces left. But what I'm finding in my small pieces. Thing, and I think I must have seen this on on a YouTube. Oh, I have so many YouTubes, but what I have is I have these small ones. So I wanted to make something that I could hold these small ones that are under here. That are kind of like words that I cut out, uh, smaller pictures and stuff for little smaller jobs. See those ones. I need to find a way to store them that they're not in this disaster zone. Okay, so that's what I've decided to work on. And it is confirmed I'll be doing a card uh, group in a couple of whatever September 8th is. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. So again, I want to have this organized so that people can use it. Find my stuff. <clears throat> so I'm going to add this again. To the bottom. I wound up buying a box of ribbon and I wound up with this whole incredible amount of ribbon. <laughs> I tell you, I'm the one that is always saying I don't want too much stuff. <laughs> but you wind up with lots. I feel so bad for my scissors because I've been doing cardboard again and that's so hard on them. Okay. <laughs> Massive one. I actually went through quite a bit of the other ribbon that I got. I don't have a lot of the other ribbon, but I have a lot, <laughs> a lot of that. So this is going to go on here again so that things can be stored in here. And when I checked, when I checked, this will go in the center one. If I, if I do the uh, gluing carefully, if I wanted to put that in there, I might, I might make another one just for these. Okay. So, hmm, that just came off. Let's see here. I'm just going to check something. Yep, it's been sealed. It's shiny. Okay. So, I didn't sew these down because I want to hide the rest of that inside there, okay? So, I'm going to use this once it's hot enough. So, I'm going to have this one on the bottom, I think. And then I want to have this one above it like that, which will hold some other pieces. I can't go too high because it's going to fold down. And I think that should 
give me a chance to feature some of the smaller things that I have to because I wanted something that I could see through and then I could slide things into and then pull them out as I wanted to okay so let's start with the lot let's start with the small one first you know that I'm scared of the thing and I don't want to get burned <laughs> And so I still have a little bit more of my scraps that I didn't cut off there. Get those out of the way. Now let's see. Let's just start at the beginning here. Trying to do it without getting burned. I'm going to let a little bit go beyond. Almost too high, remember, I'm going to have this folding down. Okay. I think this is one of the things that I enjoy doing is the building building of things. Do this edge here. Do the edge on both sides. Of the bit of the full D part. I don't know why I'm feeling like I'm really having to pull that glue gun hard. There we go. Nice. So I think that'll work. Take it up a little bit more. There we go. I'll try it this way. I'm going to use my my right hand. Are you hard enough? Just about. I think it can get harder. That's why I'm having to pull harder. These are just going to be for small pieces, so it's okay if I go up a little bit. And they're really going to be small, so it's not going to cause any weight or pressure. Oh, my sweetheart's having a dream. Baby. Baby. Okay. I can't remember where I saw if someone actually had one of these, and uh, I thought I've been thinking about it. Hers was done with plastic, uh, must some kind of a plastic uh, holder thing, kind of like a, that you would use for stamps. Any of you that follow me would know that I'm not gonna buy something if I can make <laughs> if I can make it it's not just because I'm cheap but because I also like the challenge of it some people probably would call me cheap <laughs> okay so I think what I'll do is I'll do coming down and then I'll do the bottom last <laughs> leave a little bit on the edge there. Keep coming down here on both sides. Now it's really coming out. Get it up to the top there.
Hope everyone's having a nice day. Nice. It's Sunday today. It's cooling off now in that area. Getting to be the fall. Close to it. Just like clockwork. After those very, very hot days. Oh, before I know it, I'll be complaining about snow. So this is going to be the bottom here, okay? See, I did get it crooked <laughs> again. Yeah, it's stuck. Okay. So let's trim it off a little bit more. I don't want too much bulk on here. I just stitched it using that yarn that I have because I bought that whole bag of yarn at the Dollar Rama. I think the whole thing was $2.49 or something and I have so much of that small yarn and it works so great for stitching. I need my other scissors and I brought to my son for sharpening and I never picked it up. I'm going to shorten that a little bit. I brought it right to the seam edge there. I don't want to cut my sewing. I have to go on the outside of that. Because that sewing is holding the outside ribbon. There we go. I think I hear a child outside too. I love kids so much. Okay. Just take it a little bit narrower. And we're just going to do the same thing like we would if we were working on a journal. This one's a little bit wide too. It just got some, it's just got some uh, a fold in it. And it was weird on this fabric that I got. I got this fabric at Fields and I don't know why but the, the labeling got stuck on the fabric. I mean stuck on the fabric. It was really um, a mess to try to peel that off. After I peeled it all off, I realized that I didn't really need to do that because I was going to be covering it. But wow, people don't realize that they don't need to cover the material like that. Okay, so let's start on the bottom first. And we'll probably wind up needing some more. I really don't want to get burnt so hot. I think it's still going to fold just fine. 
You pick the place that you want to start with. I try to start with places that I don't think you're going to see as well to begin with because I always think I need a little bit of warming up. I was at church today and the guy was talking about that his voice was warming up before he had to sing the high notes. And I thought, yeah, I feel like when I'm crafting, I need to do some warm up before I feel like I'm gonna be able to get things working smoothly. So I try to do the parts so you're not gonna be so obvious to see. Like when I do my journals, I like to start filling them out at the last pages first. Okay, so let's get this in here. Oh my goodness. Let's get that. I'm gonna need to get that one up here, I suppose. Full of glue here. Okay. So I got this one nice and short on this side. Come on, please don't burn me. After uh, dealing with paper, it's kind of nice to do something with fabric a little bit. going right on the edge because it was nice and narrow piece of fabric and it's so close to burning me. Okay. I'm such a chicken. Okay, let's do the other side. And then it's pretty much going to be done. Except I get to put stuff in it. Okay, I need to trim that. I hope it doesn't dry on me. Where this stick is good to move more. Just gonna have to put some underneath there. playing outside. Trying to get on the screen now. Okay. Okay, the last little bits here. Oops. for a little bit more. Nope. Let's get my chat. I don't know if I showed you. This is how I keep my my glue sticks is I have a probably a yogurt or something. And I tried my hand at making a blue jean kind of painting. Then I put the pant leg of my blue jeans in there. That's how I keep my glue sticks. I have another bag. Glue sticks are so valuable to me. I really wouldn't ever want to run out of them. Oh no, I put it right in the fold. I didn't mean to do that. That might mess up my um, bending here. I need to get, ouch, I need to get that out of the fold. I do not want glue in that folded part. This 
mistakes. Ooh, it's still, still, still worked. Yeah, I think it's gonna be all right. Let's check and see if I have some glue in there. Just a bit. And glue it to get the glue out. I don't pre-make anything, so you're getting to see it as I'm doing it. <laughs> this is the first one of these that I've done. I'm not sure if I'm going to need to do another one. I don't have that many small little pieces. Okay. Oh, come on. So let's see here. Now I have this cool pockety thing. Let's see if I can get the little things in there. So I have all these, which are fine. You can see I went down with them quite a bit. I think I made 13 pages, sheets of my scraps. But I'm doing these fussy cutting. I'm doing these fussy cuttings and I want to be able to see them when I'm gonna use them. And I wanna put that word on something. If you watch a Jamal, AKA Jamal, I really wanna get his shirt that talks about being kind. Uh, oh, being a good human. That's what he says. So if I'm gonna take the time to fussy cut these little things out, I may as well make it so that I can find them. Don't you think? I just have some sayings, a little help from my friends. I think that would be super awesome in something. I don't mind that it's sticking a little bit. I feel like it's not going to fly out on me. Paintbrush would be cool. Whatever uh, magazines that I'm I tend to buy them secondhand. I don't buy new ones. I said I just um, cut out little words and stuff. So I want to put them somewhere where I can see them. So I think you get the idea. Because sometimes when we're working on the cards, I have all those cards I need to decorate that I've been fixing. Then I want to uh, use these little pieces. Look at see heart and soul. I think that's cool too. So this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm so blessed because I'm gonna dig around and find all these little pieces. And now you can kind of see them in there when you wanna look at them and you wanna pull them out. And what I might do is just, uh, I had this here, I was thinking. I was just having it tied. But we'll see if I have, 
you know how it is. You're just humming along and then you get an idea of how you want to do something. So something else may come to me. But in the meantime, just come here. In the meantime, I could maybe put some circles in here too. Some of these circles are getting a little bit wrapped. And then I could have some place to keep those as well. Um, because they keep cutting more out and this is getting really full. Um, yeah. So, just a little case. Could have tied that tighter. Hmm. Hope you like it. Okay, bye.